Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the COVID clinic. As I had promised before, and because of the demand from hundreds and thousands of people, everybody wanted to know what is the latest about vaccines. That's a very complicated field, but I'll try to bring out some of the vaccines which are foremost in the development. And we can hope in the next few months, one or more of them may be available for actual uh, vaccination of common people. So the first is, of course, the Oxford uh, University of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which uh, is basically a harmless artificial virus that enters the body, infects the cell and forces the cell to produce a protein just like the surface of the coronavirus. So as more and more protein is produced, the body spurs uh, immune reaction that forces the body to produce antibodies against these proteins. Now these proteins are the real proteins that is contained on the virus itself. So when the body produces antibody against these proteins, the actual virus, when it infects, uh, it doesn't get a place to stay, it gets kicked out. Uh, and that's the rationale be between uh, uh, for developing this particular um, vaccine. Now this artificial uh, virus, which is otherwise completely harmless in the vaccine, has been tried in clinical trials. The latest result has come a couple of days back published in a world famous journal called Lancet and that has consistently shown that the vaccine which contains the harmless virus is capable of mounting a immune reaction where a large amount of antibody is produced so that the vaccine will be effective when we use it in the field to actually treat people and thus help them not to get the actual coronavirus. The second uh, vaccine that's um, been going ahead at a massive speed is what is known as the National Institute of Health slash Moderna uh, vaccine, which is actually a synthetic RNA. Now, what is the RNA? RNA is ribonucleic acid. That is the genetic material inside the virus, the actual coronavirus. So this uh, synthetic uh, mRNA is something that will be given as a vaccine it enters the cell and again what it does is it forces the cell to produce proteins that is found on the coat or the surface of the actual virus and as proteins are produced that is contained in the actual virus the body again will generate massive reaction against it by producing antibodies and once antibody is produced, the, the particular human being who has been vaccinated is primed against the real coronavirus. Because when the real coronavirus comes in, remember it comes with this coat protein. Now you already have antibodies against that coat protein. So no way the body is going to let that coronavirus stay and infect you. So again, we had a recent uh, article in the New England Journal of Medicine that shows that this um, particular vaccine has consistently been producing enough antibodies. So it's thought of um, that it should be effective, but we still have the stage three clinical trials, which is supposed to start quite soon, and that will give us a better understanding. Both the first vaccine has minimal side effect, including fever, pain at the local site um, and stuff like that, which is also found in most influenza vaccine today. Um, but slightly more than that, but nothing very severe um, uh, has been shown by any of these two vaccines. The third vaccine has been developed by what is known as Sinovac, which is a Beijing company that has produced a vaccine from um, against um, SARS coronavirus 2. Uh, based on initial report looks like uh, they have shown success also in developing antibodies uh, against uh, um, the actual coronavirus. Uh, however, there has been some report that the particular vaccine may be less effective against people 50, 55 years of age or more. Um, and um, that could be a source of, be, uh, of worry because remember coronavirus is most lethal to this subset of people who are 50, 55 or older 
and uh, who have coronary artery disease, hypertension, and diabetes. Um, so Sinovac is having stage three clinical trials in China. It has been reported, but we do not know what the truth is. They may do some uh, stage uh, three clinical trials uh, even in UAE. So long story short, we have a couple of vaccines that's on the development. Uh, I'll talk about some of the other ones in my next talk. So these three are the topmost online, seems to be most advanced, but you never know. A couple of other drug companies are going very fast uh, in developing their own vaccine and one might beat the other uh, to be ready for production and mass use. That's all from me today. Again, please don't hesitate to give us your opinion. Write back to us, tell us what you want to hear and whatever questions that you have on this or any related topic in COVID, we are there to answer for you. Hope you guys keep safe. Make sure you keep distance from other people. Make sure you use your um, face mask and stay safe and take care. Bye for now.